This is just to show how you may use some ambulatory assistive devices correctly with your resident. If the resident has a cane, they are going to put the cane on their strong side. And we've indicated this by the ACE wrap, so this is the weak side. The ACE wrap would be underneath their clothing, but we've left it on top just so we can remember for the video that this is their weaker side. So as the CNA, I'm gonna put my fingertips up in the gate belt and stand a little bit to what to the weak side and a little bit behind. So the resident will step with their strong foot and then go forward with the cane and the weak foot at the same time to use that for support. Keep your head up. Okay, you can come back. If the resident has a four point cane, we wanna make sure that the straight sides are next to the resident so they don't trip on the points. So, and forward. Strong side, yep, and use the cane for support. Okay. A four point walker is for a resident that takes smaller steps and doesn't walk very quickly, but that determination will be made by the physical therapist and the type of walker you should be in the care plan. So again, I'm gonna stand behind and on the weak side, go ahead and move with your walker. Keep your head up. There we go. Okay, you can come back. Then we have a two-wheeled walker. So for those that can move a little quicker, it has wheels in the front. These are the ones that sometimes you see the tennis balls on the back so they don't drag on the floor. So that you can move a little faster with this two-wheeled walker. Okay. And then lastly, we have the four-wheeled walker for those that are fairly mobile. The thing with the four-wheeled walker, it also has brakes. So typically those push down so the resident can kind of lean on that and when they're ready to walk, they'll release the brakes. So we would keep those locked while they're standing up and I'm getting in place. Okay, you can take your brakes off, Annie, and then walk forward. And then we'll push down. And if the resident wants to sit, make sure the brakes are locked. That's a good plan if they need to rest for a moment, but you will never wheel anybody around in a walker. It's just not quite safe enough, not as stable as a wheelchair.